I went back to Perth. Um, yeah. I worked at a Hearns. She said, uh, oh, I thought you were going to be a sister. I thought, oh, not me. At that stage, other things were on my mind. Really what much. sort of other things? Other things, like people coming back from the army that you've been writing to for a while. Sort of things. How, yeah? And what about that? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. But no, no, no. Uh, I said, what about it? I didn't say there's uh, anything wrong with it. Well, uh, she came in and said, I thought you were going to enter the comments and not me. So you, what you you had as a young child you'd thought about going to combat and oh, but even what, what, while the war was on you put that on hold or more or less Peter I mean you it wasn't yeah. a thought you were having during the uh, time. it was at the back of one's mind yeah I mean religion all religion was kind of part of our lives it wasn't yeah. something you put on on Sunday it was just part of our lives the whole thing um, so I said I said no I, I'd forgotten about it then and then. Uh, uh, she said some, I don't know what she said, but I, I kind of, when I met her, I knew that was it. What, that? That, that was something to think about, so I cancelled other arrangements. and. What finished. sort of other arrangements? Well, uh, very, very, <laughs> uh, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, important arrangements. What the arrangements had been made? No, the way I was living and my friends. I mean, at this stage, I was thinking of, of probably doing, uh, taking up other vocations besides religious vocation. Oh, I haven't heard about this before. No, you're not going to hear it now either. Though. Yeah. Oh, well, so what well, you you thought of um, what catching up with one of your correspondents? That's right. Yes, quite seriously. Uh, but when sister came into her hands. Sister who? It was Sister Claude at the time. Who would have been for management. Yes. That's and, it. and would have known of your interest in vocation. Oh, well, we used to talk about it when I was a child, you know. Yeah. 13, 14, I was very keen about it. Did she come and see you purposely? No, I you? met her in the shop. Just by you know, chance? Just by chance, yes. Yeah. And so that really sparked your... That sort of... Uh, she said something about think about it because I had made a bit of a joke about it. So uh, then life seemed to think, well, uh, you know, you've had a good look at the world and uh, there's better things for you if you want real peace and happiness. Uh, so, so the correspondence that you're entering into, was, was that a number of different letters that you're writing to different people or one person in particular? Well, one particular person in particular. I mean, yeah. uh, we... Uh, uh, he was discharged and I was discharged and things I happened. see you'd written to this fellow for... Oh, yes. ...during the war? Yes. ...from management? No. Oh, yeah. He was the one of mix, um, in mix unit. But um, that was it. So then, then I... So you had to make a decision... I had to make the decision. ...go this way or that way? Yeah. Mm. And all sorts of... Was that hard to make that? Just Very it? hard. Very hard, but I knew, I sort of just knew that I had to go. That was it, I had to enter the convent. Yeah. I thought it was a silly idea, really, but I had to go. It was just... How, 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 do, you, how do you know you had to go? It's just the feeling within. You can't, uh, you can't, you can't tell, you can't explain some things. Yeah. How do, you, how do you know, you know? But you're feeling like you're responding was, to God's call on your well, life. Exactly, that was it. And, and, and uh, a feeling that... This was your destiny. This, what, what would power? Of course, certainly. Strangely enough, there was a, a lad that I knew in the army. <clears throat> mm. He had uh, one study with a priesthood. He came over at that particular time. And he came over from the east thinking he was going to have a great time. You know, he and I met because we were good friends in Brisbane. And, uh, it, you know, it, things just don't happen by chance. Mm. And when I said, well, I don't know, I'm thinking of being a nun. He just roared laughing. I said, well, you can laugh. And then the minute he knew I was serious, I would say that the good Lord used him oh. very much so. To, so that was it. And I remember writing home to Dad oh. and I said I had something important to tell him. I think he wondered what I was going to say on the next page. Oh. And when he got the letter, and I thought, well, if he writes back and says, don't be such an idiot, you know, I thought, that'll be it, that'll be my, my... But he said it was his greatest wish and prayer. Mm. And I thought, oh, no, you know. 
Mm. So that was the way, it was the within that I was uh, responding yeah, to, yeah. not anything. And then Sister Claude uh, come along and... Those oh, days so he, he didn't discourage you from going to the convent at all? No. So, no, he was yeah. quite happy about yeah. it. You know, he, he wasn't expecting it, of course. Would he have liked to have had a son a priest, would he? Well, Tom was going to be the priest. Yeah. He's going to be the priest and... Uh, I don't know if you know, so put him off a wood. <laughs> <laughs>